I'm going to ask you one more time. I'm going to issue a citation for disrespect. This was the rally outside Collin College before the board met, standing in solidarity with professors. They skipped all of that and just said, we're not renewing you. Suzanne Jones and Audra Heslip were told in late January they won't teach after the term ends in May. They say they were told why. I was the lead voice uh, on challenging the reopening plan. They are talking about Collin College's fall restart plan. Audra had drafted a resolution in the middle of last year challenging the reopening with information she says was based on science, signed, they say, by 130 educators. It also called for as many classes as could go online. Both Jones and Heslip are on the faculty council where they say these topics should come up. Jones says the drafted letter never made it to the top. And it became clear to me, I think, and a lot of other people that that our college president and that the leadership around him did not take the virus seriously. The college responded saying they are following best practices and in the best interests of all and says masks will be required through the spring semester. I in the, right the professors say they were forced to fight for their livelihoods, enlisted the help of the TFA, the Texas Faculty Association, a nonprofit formed to protect the rights of higher ed faculty and staff. So I had told some of my colleagues on faculty council about it. They joined, and then we said, let's start a local chapter. They tell us more than 25 people have joined TFA locally, and they feel it's that active membership that led to their non-renewal. They feel threatened by the Texas Faculty Association. They feel threatened by a group of um, faculty coming together to advocate for something that they can't then control. Collin College says, we have policies and procedures to address employees' concerns and rights, including a well-established process for conducting administrative appeals for issues such as non-renewal of a faculty contract. The college says it cannot comment any more on that for privacy reasons. You gotta be kidding me, man! It is the reason there are a number of protesters here, a voice they claim the college board is not hearing. The professors are exploring legal options. Hearings for grievances were held this week. We're in a grievance process right now, trying to seek reinstatement of our jobs. In Collin County, I'm Joe Paniker.